Hello everybody, Sunday Adelaide here again. I want to continue to talk to you about the need for research culture in our, in our continent, in our country. We need to entrench the culture of research. What would that give us? First of all, I've said we, we need research because it, you know, it's based on information. It, it, and information, you know, it helps us to, to, you know, to even be informed about the transformation that we need and information leads to transformation. Then after that, you know, another thing that research will do for us, that research will help us to identify the problems. And, uh, but also, another thing that research will do for us is that it will help us to identify the scope of our challenges. So the research will help you not just to understand problems, but to also determine the amount of problems that you have, the amount of challenges that you have, the amount of challenges that you are facing. Now, apart from the, you know, helping us understand how many challenges, what is the scope of our challenges, we need to research to also help us to know the parameters of these problems. So, but now, we, this, this is the way, that naturally, people talk about research being done by specialist institutions or, you know, by professionals or people who, who devote their lives for this and this is the only thing they do. But what I am proposing this time is that research should become part and parcel of every citizen's life. That we should teach the whole nation the culture of research. Because if we don't teach the culture of research, the whole nation will be dwelling in the culture of superstitions. And superstitious culture doesn't take you anywhere. Superstitious culture brings darkness. Superstitious culture you know, leads to lack of development. Superstitious culture makes you to be backward. So we must all gently uproot superstitious culture. We must all gently uproot intolerance. We must all gently uproot miracle grace mentality. We must all gently uproot subserviency. And in the place of them, introduce the culture of research or research culture you know, fast and quick as fast as possible, and we must make it holistic. We must make sure that we have a comprehensive program to enable every person, every individual, from a primary school child to the university professor to embrace research, to always question everything, to always seek for ways to, and different ways to look at any situation. Because by the time we you know, teach our people the culture of research, everybody is not just living one way, it's not just living one way. Every child, every young person will be looking at any situation from different perspectives. It's going to have different solutions, different suggestions about resolving any problem. It's going to know that you know the approach to resolving problem is not just to talk to some elders and repeat what they say or look for their advice, but it's going to base his arguments on facts and statistics and science. And that when people embrace, you know, research culture like this, that they're not just going to fall for anything. They're not just going to embrace any lie and deception. That is one of the most powerful ways to, to equip a nation and to empower a nation. Because if a nation will be strong in research, they'll be strong in knowledge. They'll be strong in self-awareness. They'll be strong in truth. They'll be strong in light. They'll be strong in, in, in purpose. They'll be driven. They'll be able to build. They will be able to build the you know, industries that they see through their research. They will be able to build companies. They will be able to build factories. They will be able to. They will know how to build factories. They will have the knowledge of how to do this. They will have the skills necessary for growth and development. That is what you know research culture will do for you. They will know the best practices in every nation. They will be able to bring those solutions. They will not be waiting for government to resolve their problems. They will not be waiting for father to father or mother to resolve our parents to resolve their problem. They will not be waiting for the economy to grow. They themselves will be growing the economy because you know, that's what research does for you. Research equips you with so much knowledge, with so much insight, and with so much know-how. You know how things are fixed. You know what is wrong. You know what to do to fix those things. That is the advantage of research. It helps you not just to have information about the situation, but it helps you to gather the data. It also helps you to identify and correctly define the situation you are facing. It helps you to define the problem properly. It helps you not just to define, but to also determine the scope of the problem. Then it helps you to also determine the parameters of your, your challenges. And then it helps you to, you know, to be able to identify solutions. 
It also helps you to be able to know what particular solution to bring to a particular situation that you are passing through, that you are in. And then, if you are even making a mistake, but because the culture of culture uh, of uh, research is is holistic in the society, there will be so many other people to correct you and to tell you that no, you are missing it. Here. This is the way to do it because it is not just a few people that know how to do things, but the whole nation are aware and they have some understanding about everything. So there will be no uh, any part of the economy that is suffering. There will be no any part of the country that is suffering. Every part of the country, somebody will know something about it. Even from the places where, you know, when they, there, are any, there are any challenges in the personal life of anybody, they will know this, how to analyze those problems. They will know how to, you know, find solutions to their own problems. Nobody will become paralytic, being a parasite to, to the parents of being a parasite to the economy or being a parasite to, to the people who are uh, better off in the society. They themselves will become independent and be able to be independent enough and strong enough to be able to look for their own answers and solutions. So it's a beautiful life, you know, the ability to, you know, have to be able to do research. And it's, but what is even more powerful than that is the culture of research to be able to teach the whole nation to do this. To have a true, comprehensive educational programs through you know different kind of entertainment, different kind of you know um, films, movies, through different kind of um, you know, musical you know musical entertainment through schools, through universities, through you know, educational programs on the te television, through uh, books and through, you know, uh, uh, family altars, through churches, through mosques. Also, this culture, if it could be developed, it leads to growth development, it leads to, uh, to change in the society, it leads to the change and transformation in the mindset of the people. Uh, you know, the burden of the economy is lessened and uh, the people are enlightened. And the people, you know, they, there is progress in the society. The people are progressive. The people are independent. They are able to uh, cover for themselves. They are able to fight for them for their own selves. They are able to decide the 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 the, the, the you know, projections of their own lives. And they are not, you know, waiting for government to do any, everything for them. And they, you know, that the government will not use all their uh, budget money, to, you know, on trying to do secondary stuff I like you know finding job for anybody the people will be finding job for themselves so the money of the government could be used for infrastructure and for many other things that are necessary so everything starts with dealing with the people bringing value systems and you know releasing these principles in the whole population and making sure that you know we empower our population our country our nation by this kind of knowledge and this is what you will see in Singapore. If you go to Singapore, you will see that they have been able to use this principle of research to, on the popular, on the pop, on the on the on the on the populist level in a in a very effective way. The same thing you will see in Europe, and that's why they have development. You know, we must have and make sure that research has become part and parcel of everybody's everyday life. And uh, and you know that way people will be able to be independent. They will be strong. They will not be uh, they would not be parasites on the government or on their parents and uh, you'll be able to experience progress, growth uh, faster than uh, and development faster than you could ever imagine. So I hope that this has helped you and I will come back and continue my thoughts on this matter. Peace. For the love of God, church and nation. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Now, we need to spread this word and we need to do it together. For that to happen, we need your help. Just five little steps that you could help us to spread the word. Number one thing we need you to do is to like the videos. Please go like this video right now. Number two, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Number three, we need you to press and click on that notification bell you see the bell go press on it and number four we need you to go comment write your comment good or bad just write what you feel number five share 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 on every platform share on instagram share on facebook just share and spread the word thank you so much